Okay, Nigel Lee from Sax School. Now, Faces of the Heart, that's a great tune, a brilliant, uh, brilliant tune by Dave Coz and a massive hit for him as well. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the first part of the melody, which I think is the most important part in this tune anyway, because the rest of the tune really draws on that first section of the tune. So we're going to go through it and learn it note by note. I'll show you how to play each phrase and all the little extra bits as well, so you can really get that Dave Coz style. But I'll start by playing it through with the backing track from smoothjazzbackingtracks.com. So let's do that now, and then we'll come back and look at it step by step. Here we go. Okay, so you can hear the same melody comes back a couple of times, and but with variations in there as well. And there's, one of the things about Dave Coz's style that makes it sound so awesome is all the little extra notes and inflections he puts in there. His vibrato, uh, and his breathing, and his phrasing, I guess, but also the little extra uh, in-between notes that he puts in. So I'll mention those as we go through, but what I'm most interested in to start off with is just the core notes of the melody, so we'll look at those. Now the alto sax in the original key, it puts us in the key of A major, so that means you're going to have three sharps all the way through, F sharps, C sharps, and G sharps. Uh, so we'll start off, uh, the very first phrase starts on low E, but in Dave Koss style he's got a sneaky D sharp before, okay? But the main note is the E, it sounds like this. <laughs> 
So E, A, and up to high. Then it goes back down to low E, A, back to high, and then D sharp, E, F sharp, down to B. But before you play that first E, try playing a D sharp first. So, instead we've got this. See what I mean? The next phrase starts on D, so they've got my octave key on, but just D natural this time. D, F sharp, A, and then E, E, A, B, C sharp, E, D, C sharp. So one more time, D, F sharp, and then up to high A, back down to E, E, A, B, C sharp, E, D, C sharp. Got it? Let's try putting those two phrases together. Here we go. Three, four. All right, cool. So the next bit, um, we do that kind of that bit again, but we do a little lead in first. Where we go B A F sharp. Now before the F sharp, we put a sneaky E in. Okay. Now the next phrase is kind of the variation on that first phrase. So once we go B A E F sharp, we go E E A F sharp up to G, back to F sharp, and down to E. So the core notes are E E A F sharp E. But before we do that last E, we do a G and an F sharp back to, down to the E. So. So I'll play it now with a little lead in. Um, B, A, F sharp, and then E, E, A, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. Here we go. Three, four. Sounds cool, doesn't it? And I think if you really want to get that Dave Koss style, you've got to get a load of little extra notes in there, really important. Okay, the next bit's the same as what we've already done. E, A, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, B. Okay, and after that we go, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A. So it's kind of quite a really long ascending line there. And before that last A, he puts another sneaky G sharp in. Okay, and we finish off this phrase by going, now it sounds fancy, but the core notes are really simple. Um, e, E, I don't know if I can sing this high. E, E, A, B, C sharp, and then B, A, A. And we finish off by going G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. Oh, that's high. So E, E, A, B, C sharp, B, A, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. Now, if we put these little extra Dave Cos notes in there, we get this. Sounds better, doesn't it? All I'm doing in there is I'm going E, E, A, B, C sharp. Then I'm doing a side C natural before the B. So that's my B key with this middle key over here. C down to B. So D, D, ba, 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 B, A, ba, ba. And here, before the G sharp, I'm doing an F sharp. D, A. And then I'm doing a G natural to an F sharp before the E, E. So really slowly.
Sounds cool, right? So really got to get those little extra notes in there. So let's go from the beginning all the way down to there and let's see if we can get that whole first section together. Here we go. Three, four. <laughs> How do you get on with that? So I think it really is worth taking your time to try and get every single phrase right before you move on to the next phrase. And also make sure you get those little extra notes in there. And listen to the original version of uh, the Dave Cos recording too. And check out his vibrato and his breathing. And he puts little swells on notes too, which really gives his style. Makes that style sound right. Okay, so after that we've got this bit. The guitar does a bit. Do, 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 and then the, the piano, the saxophone comes back in. Okay, so what happens there? He starts in a high B, he's got an octave key on. Um, high B, A, sneaky E up to F sharp, and then we've got this next line. So we'll do that, that first bit. So, high B, A, E, F sharp, down to E. Let's get that bit right first. Do you want to play it with me? And the next bit's a little bit tricky. We go E, I'll sing it down the octave. E, E, A, F sharp, C sharp, high E, C sharp. So we're starting on E with that octave key on. E, E, A, up to high A, and then up to high F sharp. Now, there's two ways you can play high F sharp, right? You can play it on the front, C key, with the F key, and your F sharp key. But I think Dave Cos is using his side F sharp there. It's got a better sound for this phrase. So there I've got my octave key on. I've got all three of my palm keys on. I've got the top key on over here with my right index finger. And I've also got my F sharp key on down here. Lots of fingers, right? Octave key, three palm with my left hand, my top key with my right index finger, and my F sharp key. So, all the way up to there. So one more time, E, E, A, high F sharp, down to C sharp, then up to E, which is just my two side keys, and the top key, and my octave key. Um, e, and then back to C sharp. It does a bit of a fall off on that too. So, one more time. E, E, A, F sharp, C sharp, E, C sharp. Let's try it really slowly. <laughs> So here I'm doing that fall off at the end. So let's put the, the first line before that where we start on the B. So this is on beat three. Here we go. One, two. Got the idea? And to finish off this phrase we go. So that's high C sharp, D, up to high E, and then down to A, B, and then a sneaky C to the B, and then back to the A again. Okay, great. So that's the first section for Faces of the Heart. Now if you work through that section by section and really try and get each bit right, thinking about the breathing, thinking about your tone, thinking about those little extra grace notes, listening back to Dave Cos's version and checking out his vibrato and the way he swells on notes and his, his phrasing, uh, then I think you'll really be able to nail that, you'll get it to sound right. The next, uh, sort of what follows after that in the tune, a lot of it draws on that first section. So if you can nail that first section, then you'll have it together. Now over in sax school, I've actually got a full series of lessons on this tune where 
we look at the solo as well and um, I give you a couple of tips on how you can uh, make up your own solos over this tune as well. So there's lots of other stuff to learn and work through with this tune. But don't forget to grab the backing track from smoothjazzbackingtracks.com. They've got a bunch of great backing tracks on there. And if you're a fan of Dave Coz's style or all the other uh, players from that smooth jazz style, then this is definitely the place for you to go and get your backing tracks. I think uh, Martin Funderburk's doing a brilliant job there. So my name's Nigel McGill. If you want to check out more, go to mcgillmusic.com and I'll see you next time.